sure to stand back a bit. Okay. Is it recording? Yeah. All right, guys. So this is a uh, Semiamu uh, Strata here in South Surrey White Rock. So we're just going to go ahead and do a quick walkthrough, show you everything that needs to be done on a uh, monthly and a weekly basis. So coming uh, along here, I'm going to show you where the property line begins and ends. So property line is going to end right there where the fence is. Right? And um, starting from there, everything inside, we're going to go ahead and maintain. Uh, this boulevard lawn here, we do have to cut, so make sure you're aware of that. Moving along here, I know that it's uh, still going to snow uh, in the lawn here, but uh, once it's springtime, this is the areas that we have to mow on a continuous basis. The garden beds here, um, you know, when we're mowing, we're going to be mowing on a bi-weekly basis, right? So uh, the days that we're not scheduled to mow, we want to go ahead and focus on things such as the garden beds here. Uh, there is a little bit of debris that has accumulated from the, the fall. And throughout the season, we want to make sure it's, you know, nice and raked up. All the pine cones and sticks and twigs and all the things that fall out of the bushes there, you know, nicely rake it up and make sure it's uh, thoroughly looking uh, good. So come along and follow me here. You can go around and walk through the backyards. But as you can see here, the garden beds, and um, you know, we want to make sure that uh, any small weeds that kind of pop up, like these clover leaves right here, you see, uh, we want to go ahead and uh, just kind of, you know, hoe it, cultivate it, uh, make sure it's nicely weeded out. We don't want to get to a point where it's, you know, we just let it be and all the weeds are just kind of uh, growing everywhere. So we want to keep it nice and maintained so it makes it easier for us so that we're not doing a big cleanup all the time. Um, so as you can see here, they just seeded that, eh? Kind of a bad time of the season to see. <laughs> they kind of ruined it with the snow. Um, all right, guys. So coming along this garden bed here, you see that sometimes there's some leaves that have accumulated. Um, so we want to go ahead and rake up all the leaves uh, in the garden beds there, make it nice and tidy. Um, these bushes here, we want to make sure that it's. Um, edged back so you know occasionally uh, we want to grab a hedge trimmer and you know trim the sides of here because if you don't then it's just going to overflow over the lawn and that's not going to be a good look and trimming the top as well okay so all the bushes and stuff here so come fall time you know we do we are going to do that annual pruning so you know keep aware of all these bushes and shrubs here that do need to be pruned uh, later on in the season so Coming along here in the backyard. So these are the backyards that we are going to be maintaining as well, guys. All right. Um, so one thing that I do have to note is this is artificial turf. Do not mow this lawn. It is going to be very expensive if you run a weed whacker or a lawnmower through it. So uh, be very aware of it. A lot of uh, the backyards here. Uh, have artificial turf so um, you do not have to run a lawnmower here so please guys don't mow this <laughs> um, so the things that we are going to be doing here um, in the you know clients backyards lawns um, you know keeping aware that uh, the garden beds need to be tidied up so making sure they're nice and tidy the patios are blown you know you see all these uh, uh, cedar needles that kind of fall from the evergreen trees so blowing off the patios and walkways that's pretty much it you know there's not much work to do here in the backyard since it's an artificial turf um nice. the only thing that you know we do have to do is uh you know these cedar hedges here are <coughs> the neighboring properties um so we kind of have to get permission to trim this back but whenever we do get that permission we can you know trim it back to the fence line another thing that i do want to note here guys is uh anything that has accumulated um, you know, here in uh, the artificial turf, we can just kind of, you know, lightly rake it up and make sure any debris that's here is uh, nice and, and raked up. We don't want to let it accumulate and get the artificial turf looking dirty. So let's go ahead and continue on along here. Same scenario here, guys, artificial turf again. So be very aware of that. Um, so things like this, we can definitely uh, pick up, you know, put it in yard bags for them. All right. Garden beds here, nice and tidied up. 
following along here again, same thing blowing off the patios. And just kind of going over with the rake and raking up all the debris that's accumulated here and putting it in a yard bag. Coming along here. So this one's a different uh, looking scenario uh, with this tile backyard. So you see there's no artificial turf here, but you know, there, it's pretty much just like a rock uh, garden bed area. So the thing we want to make uh, note of is um, when the leaves start to fall down, uh, that's one thing that we have to focus on, getting all the leaves cleaned up here. Same thing again with blowing the patio, like clearing that up. Continuing along. So here's another one, guys. Artificial turf right here. Be very aware of that. Garden beds uh, nice and tidied up. You see there's... If you see this garden bed, guys, all right, what does it look like to you? It's weed free. It's pretty much, it, it looks brand new. This is the standard that we want to create throughout the entire strata. So we want to make sure that all the garden beds, not just here, but the entire strata, front and back, looks like this garden bed right here. Weed free, absolutely immaculate, and uh, we got to keep it that way. If, you know, we maintain this look, it's going to make it, it's going to make our lives easier because we don't have to do a lot of weeding. It's just right there, you know, so. Uh, one thing to keep aware of. Coming along here again. So here's another artificial turf, guys. Same scenario here with the garden bed. So these, uh, you know, rotos here have been pruned back. So we just gotta wait until this uh, season again for it to grow back. And um, usually we prune these at the end of the season during the fall time. So we want to get it, you know, trimmed back to that level. So that's okay now. A little bit of snow here. Here's another one, guys. Artificial turf, all right? So, and then the rock garden bed, keeping that nice and tidy. And here's another garden bed here, guys, keeping this nice and tidy, patio grown. Let me just go ahead and close that, guys. Uh, it was open before. Oh, sorry. Okay, sorry, I'll pick up all the dogs, too. Oh, no worries, no worries. <laughs> Thank you. Lava rock. Lava rock here. Well, I don't think it's, it's, I think it's like rubber. Oh. It's, it's rubber. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so sometimes the clients take it upon themselves to do a little bit of yard cleanup and they make piles for this. So we'll go ahead and, you know, take the piles that they have cleaned up for us. Um, and then you know, anything else that kind of accumulates, just, you know, clean it up along the way. Okay. Um, these ones here, you know, they're, they're, you know, very difficult because if you take a blower through this, it's just going to blow everything right onto the artificial turf. Uh, best case scenario is take a, a light rake and just um, rake out all the, uh, the bigger pieces uh, ch and chunks like this because um, you can't get too nitty gritty with this. It's just going to spread uh, too, too wild if you take a blower through it. So. Um, just be cautious with that. Here's another garden bed here, guys. Keeping that nice and tidy. Another artificial turf that you guys have right here. Uh, with the garden beds here, let's go ahead. Uh, evergreen here sheds a lot of uh, you know needles and stuff. So get that raked up. Come along. More here. Okay, guys. So um, here is real grass now. So. Um, this grass right here, uh, you can definitely mow. So, keep aware of that. How do you go? So, as we're going through each and every single one of these uh, clients' backyards, uh, it is very uh, imperative uh, that we blow their patios on uh, an everyday basis, all right? So, every visit, we're blowing off their patios. <coughs> So here's another real grass that you guys can mow. So So just remember this guys, all right? When you're going, when you start from there and you bring your lawnmower um, through the first initial couple backyards, turn the mower off. Turn the mower off. Only turn on the mower when the mower like lands into the real grass, 
we, we do not m want to make any mistakes with the artificial turf and accidentally rip it. So just be very aware of that, guys, right? Here's another real grass for you guys, right here. Right there. Just kind of debris pick up along the way. Here's some real, more real grass for you guys. Same scenario here with the patios. Uh, a lot of leaves clean up in the garden beds there and there as well. Okay, well, it's kind of difficult to access this one right here because I think they put a block through it. Let me just double check. They did put a block through it. Okay, so, uh, yeah. I have to come around the other side of that we, one. We, we're going to have to come around the other side, guys, so, uh, follow me. So, as you guys are wrapping up here um, and finishing up in these backyards, just a reminder to always close the gates you know you don't want to leave the gates open when you guys are leaving Still rolling. Be nice to the seeded stuff. If there's stuff that's being seeded, don't yeah, yeah. match it up. So we're gonna go ahead and go through the middle of the townhouse here, guys. So uh, here, our main focus in this little area is this uh, driveway here. So um, as we're approaching near the middle area, there's a quite a bit of debris there that just kind of miraculously got blown over by the wind. Uh, so we want to just take a backpack blower. Oh, just pause right here. Take a backpack blower and make sure you know as we're exiting and finishing the day we want to make sure just to thoroughly blow uh this main middle area here um we have a garden bed area here that we want to also maintain so same scenario here just kind of a garden rake up uh weeding any debris just pick it up and um you know all these views here you know they're looking pretty decent right now but uh later on in the season end of the season do that annual pruning of all the used shrubs, cedar hedges, etc. So let's go ahead and follow me down the side here. And uh, as you're going through the middle of the shot here, you're going to see occasional uh, garden beds in between uh, the houses uh, here. So that needs to be maintained as well. 
So the U's here are you know, looking nice and boxy shaped. So we want to keep this same shape throughout the entire year. They have just been recently trimmed, so they don't need to be done right now, but just keep aware of the shape. Here's another garden area right there for you guys to look at. If you stay on top of it, it'll look good. Uh, and here's the main middle garden bed area here as well, guys. Uh, a lot of, um, yeah, let's go ahead and take a closer look at A lot of, you know, pine cones uh, accumulate on a regular basis due to these uh, big evergreen trees. Um, so, you know, we want to go ahead and just keep it nicely uh, clean for them. Um, you know, that's the middle area here. So just kind of break up any debris, sticks, twigs, bag it up, put it in the bag, and then off you go. accumulation in that electrical room I think that's what it is. Just gonna clean that up right there. Garden bed here guys, you know the leaves whatnot. End of the season, you know, with these kind of carex grass and you want to just kind of cut them down, right? That's kind of the way we do it. And there's another garden area here for you guys to maintain. Driveway blowout, just blow out all the trees in the middle area here. Let's go ahead and access that back. Okay. It's closed off. Okay. All right. Well, I do think that this uh, residential client uh, over here maintains their own lot. Um, so, I mean, for now, once we gain act once they give us access to access their backyard you know we can do that but uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the other sides of the property here you guys want to follow me things like this just to keep a 